Okay, on this video, we are going to install WordPress onto XAMPP onto your computer. Use it as a local testing server. Now, if you do not already have XAMPP, it is a free Apache server you can install on your computer. It comes complete with PHP Miami, MySQL, and FileZilla FTP. If you know how to install it, you can go to my website at this URL right here. Ignore the Dreamweaver testing. This is strictly a video about installing XAMPP onto your computer. That URL right there. You can get XAMPP for free if you don't already have it at ApacheFriends.org. That's all you got to type in there, ApacheFriends.org, then you can download it here. Once you do that, you want to go to uh, WordPress.org. You want to download WordPress. This version is 3.5.2. It may be a later version by the time you get around to seeing this video. It should work just fine, though. Once you download it, go to wherever you saved it, and which I did in my WordPress folder, version 3.5.2. I extracted it, and then I copied the entire folder. And then I went to where XAMPP is on my computer. And you'll notice before I install XAMPP, I created a folder, a C colon, slash, backslash, backslash, XAMPP, Z, X, A, M, P, P. And uh, that's where I installed XAMPP to in that folder. And as a matter of fact, when I ran through the con configuration, installation, configuration, I didn't even have to point it to that folder. It found it automatically. If you don't do that, it's going to want to install into program files because I guess that's what Windows wants it to do. An example will actually warn you not to do install it in there. They recommend a directory outside that. So in the video, if you watch the video for you doing this, you're going to see they use the name Apache instead of XAMPP. That'll be fine too. But I just used the word XAMPP. So you got your WordPress folder copied. Now anytime you work on a website on this local testing server, you're going to want everything it has to do with the website you're going to want to put it in the htdocs folder now I did that I had already pasted it and I renamed it to blog because I don't want the word name WordPress in the URL I'd rather have the name blog in the URL so that's all you're doing you paste in your WordPress folder if you want you can rename it to blog like I did once we do that we need to go to XAMPP and create a database for it so just fire it up and then we're going to go to localhost and we're going to go down and we're going to find PHP my admin now the username and, pa and password that comes with Xant is root so we're going to go root and root and we're going to create a database and we're going to I'm going to call this one WP training That's all there is to create a database for WordPress. So we're going to go back to localhost forward slash blog forward slash WP admin. So say create a configuration file. That's exactly what we're going to see. That's what we're going to do now. And we have this information database name, database username, database password, database host, and table prefix. So let's go. And our database name was WP Training. Username's root. This will come with uh, XAMPP. Password's going to be root. Localhost is good. Table free p prefix of WP is fine. And now we're going to run the install. And we're going to give this uh, a site title. I'm going to call this WordPress Training. We're going to leave the default admin there. We'll go ahead and I'm going to use root as well here. Well, now let me use something else. And I'm going to put a fake email here. Put any email you want there. And typically, you want to allow search engines to index the site. So I would just leave that che checked. Even though this is on a local testing server, if you were putting it, up, once you put it up on your website, you don't have to remember to go back in and check. So just, just, just leave it checked. So it's doing its thing.
and now we're going to log in. Admin. And I'm just going to say yes so it can remember. And that's all your uh, that's all there is to it. You're in. Next video we're gonna get started with it.